Hello and welcome back to Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. We are right here where we left off at the Shrine of Honesty. We've gone through and done our, our one cycle meditation. We need to do some things before we can go in for our second cycle. So the first thing we're going to do is hold up in camp, try to get a little a little shut eye, get our health topped up. We're not in bad shape by any stretch of the imagination, but, but uh, there we go. So that's good. And we're going to walk around a little bit. Maybe there's something we can kill because we are in need of gold. That is a true statement. I'm not really seeing anything in the immediate vicinity that can help us out on the gold area. Yeah, there doesn't seem... Well, this is kind of a small island. You know, this is... Yeah, it's not super big. So it's not like there's a ton of stuff. And we just killed a bunch of stuff getting here. So uh, nobody else has swum here yet. But let's take a peek and let's see if we have spent enough time yes we have so now we can do our two cycle meditation our mantra as we saw last time is om a h m so that's what we will be intoning here in a minute um all right all right, number two, number two, number two, number two. We're going to finish the mini -onk today. That's awesome. And full avatar hood. So that's like a big, big deal. That's one of our big, big goals. One of our big, big goals. So thy thoughts are pure. Thou art granted a vision. Cheat not the merchants and peddlers, for it is an evil thing to do. Yeah, and I was doing that. But in honesty, in all honesty, I thought we were haggling. I thought it was like a haggling mechanic, but I was mistaken. It was a it was a it was a mistake. I've atoned for it. I paid more for a little while there to try to give back. So I've tried to to pay retribution. And I, I've been I've been um you know recognized for my efforts. For my efforts. So yes. So we'll just kind of take another tool around the island here, see if anything else has spawned in or swum over from the mainland. See what there is to see. Is there the same thing? Hey, you. Come here. Come here. <laughs> okay. I think this is the ship that killed us. I think. I can't get that guy on the bow. That's annoying. Who put that rock there? Well, all right. <laughs> all right. All righty then. I should have moved myself up. Come on, get these guys. There's far too much missing going on here. There we go. Golly. Got to do it myself. Lightly wounded. All right. That guy's heavily wounded. Now that guy's heavily wounded. He's fleeing. Good luck with that. <laughs> On your boat. There we go. He's gone. I'm not certain we're going to get... We're on the land, but I'm not certain we're going to get any gold out of this. But We got a ship. Uh, I don't know if this is going to do us any good here. And... I mean, technically speaking, we could get it over there somewhere in the mainland. I don't know that I care enough. We're just going to leave it there for now. Uh, let's see if enough time has passed, if that killed enough time. So that we can do our third cycle. Yes, we can. All right. I wonder if we get a special vision or something for... Um, you know, if we get any kind of special... Uh, I don't know, notification, 
message, whatever, whatever the proper term is, because now we are going to be a full avatar. In a sense, we've completed the quest of the avatar. Now, we've kind of completed the first major step in becoming an avatar and all the things. I mean, the full quest of the avatar is, you know, going to the abyss and getting the codex and all that. We haven't done that yet. We still have steps to go to get there. Okay, mantra two, soon to be mantra three. Thou hast achieved partial avatarhood in the virtue of honesty, and look at our mini Ankh. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? And so let's pop over to our notes real fast and go over here. And so now we can say we are elevated and we can. Oops, that didn't work the way I wanted to. Um, okay, I can remember how I did this. How did I did this? There we go. It was that. Boom. I don't think I need the exclamation point. Elevated. There we go. We are all elevated. We've got the complete mini onk there. We should get an elevation vision here. Okay, so let's go look at our notes. Elevation vision. And let's make that a little smaller. Okay. So it is interesting. Justice. So we've got them all now. So honesty and justice share one. Compassion and sacrifice share one. Oh. Honesty, justice, and honor share one. Interesting. Compassion and sacrifice share one. And then valor, spirituality, and humility all have unique ones. I don't know what that means yet. I don't know what that means. But we now have them all. We have the whole set of elevation visions all right and we're done that was kind of <laughs> i won't say act anticlimactic but you know all right so we are where we are at longitude eo now if i go look at my navigation stuff vesper is at d and m and we're at E and O. So we need to go north. And we need to go north. We need to go west. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go back. We need to go north. We need to go west. But first, to go north. Oops. My bad. We need to go south, I think, because we got to get around this island. Yeah. Go down here. Goodbye, Mr. Etten. Nice knowing you, but I'm not going to stop and fight you right now. Oops, don't want to get in the shoals there between all these islands. So once again, we are heading to D and M. So we are almost, I think, there. I think this is the peninsula. There it is. So let's go remind ourselves how much, I want to board the town, how much crossbows cost. I'm also kind of eyeing our food there because we've, we've chewed through a lot of our new food. Yes, please. Okay, it's not the guild shot. What's in here? Just gold. All right, and what's in here? That was the guy I had to talk to, that I talked to. All right, so arms. Arms? Yes, arms. I'm here to buy dagger slings, boats, flaming oils. 
your interest. Uh, all right. Where could I get a crossbow from here? That's the inn. That's the pub. That's the guild. Oh, yes, I've heard of it. All right, so I'm not necessarily as a full avatar interested in, in that. I thought it was just here at the arms dealer. Job. Whoops. Virtues. To know thy progress on the path of one must visit the sea or Hawkwind often. Yes, I do. Good. All right. Thanks. I do want to go back to Hawkwind sometime soon. All right. So I'm confused. I mean, I suppose I could go back. I don't know. Do I have anything in my notes that say where to get the crossbow? Do I have anything in there? Miskinfo. Crossbow. No. No. I think I just, I thought I just ran into whoever was selling them here the last time I was at Vesper. Whoops, that's the way out of town. Honestly, I thought it was the guild guy. I thought he was kind of selling them under the table. The Tinker Man. If I could only spell Tinker. I am here to repair goods. Yes, I have. We're standing in it. Great selection. Yes. Oh, oh, that sextant. Oh, the sextant. That's what we got here. Well, crap. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Really? Where do you get a crossbow then? Oh, Lord. I don't remember where you get crossbows from. <sighs> well, it's not here. It was a sextant I was thinking of, I think. And that's the nine. That's why I've got the nine hundred gold stuck in my brain. All right, so Vesper's got nothing we need. Ah, uh, gosh, my brain. All right, so where are we going? Good question. We're going to head back toward Lord British's castle. And what I'm thinking we might try to do is is once again try to delve into the secrets of Lost Lake. There we go. I didn't really feel like fighting you. I mean, I could have. But I wouldn't have gotten any gold anyway. So, at this point. Delving into the secrets of, of Lock Lake. I think I said Lost Lake. Um... We, we obviously aren't coming across any whirlpools. And one of my friends that's also playing this has said that sometimes you can just stand by the bank of the lake and a ship will come to ferry you across. And I have not done that. Okay, so that's that's a extra ship. Let's, let's make sure I've got this marked. So we're at GB and HF. So let's take 
a look at the notes and map coordinates. So what did I say? GB and HF. So I got an extra ship. Oh, GA. Let's make that. Well, it might be GA. I'll make it GB, whatever. Extra ship. I didn't switch the thing about, but I just sailed down a little bit more east to this other ship, which is at GN and GJ. Extra ship. I think that's that's the one that's here. So these are just extra ships that are out in the world. And then I don't have any more an extra ship at Lord British. Okay, so here we are at Lord British's castle. And uh, we're going to go in and just see if Hawkwind's got anything different to say. And maybe, and maybe even Lord British. And uh, let's just see how that goes. Okay, you gotta wait for me to wake up. There I am. No, I'm still sleeping. Somebody, everybody else is. Nope. There's somebody else to pre sleeping too. Come on. All right, now I'm awake. Uh, see, that was. For what path? So, yeah, nothing new. Nothing new. All right. So, thanks, thanks for acknowledging. Thanks, but no thanks for 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 acknowledging my my accomplishment of of getting my my nice new shiny avatar Ankh. What did I do here? Did I not climb? I guess I didn't climb. I probably hit the wrong key. All right. Does Lord British have anything interesting to say? Come on, Chester, dude. It's amazing that nobody kills these things. Oh, Dupree's level five. Oh, cool. Cool. To be an avatar is to be the embodiment of the eight virtues. Ba 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 ba. Uh you know it's my ankh. The ankh is the symbol of one who strives for these at all times. So this one thou shalt be known. Alright, so no real new dialogue there. But Dupree's now level five. That's cool. All right. Um, descend. All right, I'm looking at our food and I'm and I'm alarmed. We've gone through a lot of food, and we've got a fair amount of gold. I mean, not a ton. And much as I kind of hate to do it because we've done a lot the last couple episodes, we're gonna have to Moongate over to Scar Bray and buy some more gold. So yeah. So we are gonna go from here to Minoc. And then Minoc to Scarbray. All right, so we're here. We're going to buy food first and foremost. Um, let's see if they also sell weapons here. And uh, we're going to have to find where they sell crossbows. Yes. All right, so I have been doing five, which gives me 100. Which costs me 100, gives me 125. So if I did 10, that would cost me 200. Gives us a ton of gold, a ton of food. Very little gold. All right, but let's, um, let's see. So we got a, a mystic healer over there. I'm not certain there's anybody that sells weapons here at Scarbray. Because we've just got an inn, we got food for thought here, and that's that's it. I don't see any secret stuff there. There's nothing up here except magical herbs, lady. Uh, we don't need any magical herbs right now. All right, so let's take a minute. Let's bring it while we're in town and nothing's going to attack us. Let's look at our map and let's consider. So we know Scarbray doesn't have crossbows. We know Trinzic doesn't have crossbows. We know Britain doesn't have crossbows. So what could be left? Could be Minoc, um, which we can get to from here pretty easily. 
So maybe that's what we'll do. We'll hit my knock next. If it's not my knock, uh, then maybe we could try yellow. Yeah, let's do that. Let's 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 go up to Minoc and see what's what. Yalom would be the next place to start. So to get here from Minoc, to get to Yalom, uh, well, we could go back to Scar Bray. Yeah, I think that's our best bet. Back to the Scar Bray, and then from there we can take the Moongate to Yalom. So let's go do that. Okay, so we need here, uh, Scarbray is the third destination, so we will wait on the moons. Okay, and then from here in Scarbray, we are going to, it's Yalom's the first one. Okay, so here we are, we got a boat here, that's good to know. Oops, think about boats, inner boats. Are you board boats? All right, let's see what we got here. Healing, arms. We want to buy, oh, that's armory. Not arms, buy. Crossbows. I, I, I'm not even gonna ask because we can't, he won't tell us. He'll just tell us, you don't have enough gold, is what he's going to tell us. Which is annoying as, as all get out. It is annoying. It is annoying. So, yeah. Okay, so Yalom is the place for crossbows. So let's actually make a note of that so I don't forget about it. Um By crossbows and yellow. Okay. All right, but we have 17 gold, so we have some very serious um, money to get. We have to uh, to go do a little stabby stabby and, and all of that. So that's got to be what our next goal is to get. Iolo the crossbow, so hopefully we will have the op optimal um, configuration there. So what I think I'm going to do is we're going to board this ship temporarily, take it over to the mainland. Somehow I didn't think the mainland was going to be this far away. Am I missing something here? Let's back up. <laughs> Let's take a look at the map. Because I didn't think this was, we were so far south, it was south of the mainland. That's the notes. Oh, it's just kind of like way over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, let's go north a little bit. Let's go north a little bit. <sighs> Some of these guys seem to be able to take them out with one or two hits from your cannon, and other ones, they seem to be much better off. This guy's fleeing. I don't know if he's going to go hide in the hold. Or is he, he's going to hide behind the mast. There's really no place for him to go. He's going to be all yours, Dupree. He's still fleeing. Come on, Dupree, finish him off. There we go. <laughs> I got another ship out in the middle of the sea. Woohoo! That's what I need. Uh, golly. All right, well, that's just going to sit there. An offering to the sea goddess or something like that. All right, let's... Um, find some place where we can 
get to land. All right, where the hell are we now? We are at M and E. All right, let's look at the map. We are at M and E, so that puts us M and E. Okay, so we're probably not too far from the Shrine of Honor there uh, in a little pay. That's okay. I think that's okay. Because um, all I really want to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to do a little grindy grindy, I think, and um, and get some gold so that we can sail back to Yalom and buy a crossbow. That is the plan. That is the plan. Um, so, yeah, I, but I think I'm going to leave it here for this episode. And when we come back next time, we will just kind of roam the land and do some major league killing, trying to save up our money to get a crossbow. I think it's doable. I think we can do it. But I want to thank you for joining me on this journey today. And I do hope you come back for the next one. And until then, be seeing you.